Right, let's tie floating correxa. Ben Barnes floating correxa. Running a bed of tie and thread on a small hook. This is a B160, size 12, so it's quite short. And I've got here some craft foam that I'm going to cut to size, like so. Catch it on top of the hook shank, leaving a little bit behind the eye. Be careful with your thread drops not to cut the foam. Stop it at the rear. Bed down some of the foam with some thread drops. We use this light bright or glister pearl. Dub it quite loosely onto the tying thread. And in touching turns, bring it up, covering the foam in the body. And in here, what I'll get is a couple of pheasant tail fibers. Strip a couple off. So you've got like little paddles on the side there. The same length as a hook shank. Pinch and loop. Tie that in. And same on your side. Make sure they're the same length. Come in with your scissors. Trim it. Bring the thread a little bit back behind the eye, pull the foam over. Just secure with the thread on top, like so. Come on with your finishing tool and quick finish. Just come in with your scissors behind the eye and trim as close as you dare tying off point, push it back a little to form the shape and then with a Pantone marker just colour the fly and colour the back of the fly like the real McCoy, floating correct sir.